Welcome back to the official A The Revolt set review, episode three. Today we're going to be looking at all the black cards in the set. I'm Incredible Bad Gaming. And I'm Z Magic 94 And with that in mind, let's jump right in and look at our first card. Aether Poisoner. Uh, two this mana. is the Aether Cycle. Yep, another one of the Aether Cycle. Death Touch, which is good. We're, we're not Aether going by Poisoner, alphabetical, by the way. That's how you it's get working. Two, all right, you get two energy. Whenever Aether Poisoner attacks, you may pay two energy. If you do create a 1-1 one, one color server artifact, it's your token. I like it. So two mana. Our Death Touch is super relevant. Yeah, death I mean, it trades with anything. Scary. The problem is it does trade with servos. You have to attack. Yeah, and you have to attack in order for you to get the server artifact token. And I don't think this is a card you want to be attacking with. It's a card you want to be blocking with. I think this card's worse than the blue one. But better than the yep. white one. Yep, I think it's a two and a half. I think you'll probably yeah. want a card. If you're playing a less aggressive deck and more of a control deck, you probably sure. want this. This card's solid. It, it trades it, with everything. It blocks everything, right? If you want to play control deck with blue, for example, and you want to survive until the late game, playing this is mm -hmm. great because it stops your opponent from attacking, basically. Or it is uh, also a two drop. So, like, let's say they don't play it. They don't. Let's say they don't play a two drop. You can attack and get a servo, and then mm -hmm. block with it later. Yep. So it's got its upside. I think it's a two and a half. Alley Strangler, two three menace for three. Uh, thoughts. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, right? It's just a two three menace. Like it's it's a filler. It, it is an Aetherborn, which is relevant in black. There are some cards in this format that do give Aetherborns uh, plus one plus one. So this could it's... be a filler. <laughs> this could be fine. I think this is like a two and a half, maybe a two. Sure. Deck filler. It attacks well. It attacks like two servos can't block it. Yep, that's pretty relevant. Battle at the Bridge. Improvise. This card is so good. Target creature gets minus X, minus X, Thunder turn, you gain X life. So, this is very good because it can basically destroy almost anything that you want. And you gain X life, so it's a huge life so, swing as so well. So, who cares about that. getting attacked back? This is a standard playable card. This is really good. Problem is, it's sorcery. Yeah, I don't know if it's standard playable, to be honest. Uh, because it's sorcery? It's not standard playable? Yeah, I think so. I if, think that's inst the if it was playing. instant, it would be standard playable. But... Yeah, I, I think it being a sorcery doesn't make it standard playable, but unlimited, you're going to want this. It's probably going to get rid of everything. Uh, it's just unconditional removal, and gaining life is also pretty good uh, when you destroy something. So I'd give it like a three and a half here, maybe a four yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I think this is solid, though, like against like Marty Vehicles and stuff like that. You can just kill their in standard. You can just like kill their 3 1 and gain yeah. one. Yeah, but uh, you can't kill the vehicles themselves. Right, right, right. Which is very a big downside. Yeah, this card's sweet. I think it's. I still think it's really good. Oh, it's a and really good removal spell. It it's it's also minus to max minus X, so indestructible doesn't work. And this is not like a first pick rare, I don't think. No, but you definitely could not be upset to play this. In I mean, I would take it over. It, there's there are uh, sorry, it's a first pick rare, but there are uncommons I would take over it highly. Uh, cruel finality. Target creature gets minus two minus two until end of turn. Scry one. So. This card's awesome. Killing anything with two powers is super good. Uh, if you want, it can also be used in combat to mm -hmm. blow them out. Um, and Scrying 1 is super relevant, so yeah, it's good. I think it's, it's also a good instant. Card. Like, this is great. Yeah, uh, I would say this is a, this is a three. three. It's and an half. expensive disfigure. I mean, it's a good for, for limited, that it's fine. Daring Demolition. Uh, four mana, destroy target creature or vehicle. Uh, I think that's pretty good. That's generally going to be very good. I, I think four is a little expensive, but it is a common removal spell, which is something to think about. So, like, they play yep. a freighter, you destroy their freighter. Uh, unconditional removal is generally good, even at sorcery speed. So, yeah, I think this is good. I think it's another three. It's it not being an instant take put, puts it down a bit, but, yeah, it's a three. I think I'd rather have this than tidy conclusion, but... I think they're the same, in my opinion. Okay. One more mana to be an instant is, I think, is a lot more relevant. Than and, and the gain life, yeah. Yeah, even if you don't gain life, just it being an instant sure. is just True. good. This this gets rid of vehicles before their creatures, which is cool because it plays around blossom defense. So, like, you can destroy their freighter before they can make it a creature, which plays around blossom defense, which is awesome. Defiant Salvager, two in a black, Aetherborn, Artificer, sacrifice an artifact or creature... Get, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Activate this ability only time you can cast a sorcery. The sorcery part is kind of meh, but 
this could be good if you have artif if you got a lot of servos. If you're going really wide and you won't need to go big, this can be good. Um, oh, man, the, the the being a sorcery is real bad. Yeah, I think I mean, a it's a really good way to activate revolt if you want you really need mm -hmm. it. You're like I think I think it's a narrow card. It's going to fit into revolt decks and decks that make a lot of servos. But other it's than that, you're not going to want It's way worse than a Husk. Yeah, it's definitely way worse. Natuza Husk making it at an instant and plus two plus two is way more relevant than a plus one plus one counter. Um, I mean, it I eats, it, eats a servo and then gets revolt. I think this is like a one and a half, a two. I think yeah. you're only gonna play it in decks in which you have a lot of artifacts or you, uh, or you uh, need something that triggers revolt. Other than that, it's really not playable. One black instant, the straight target creature if it has converted mana cost less two or less. Revolt, the straight target creature if it has converted mana cost four or less. Instead, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm just super it, boring. This is one of one of my favorite cards. This card's this great. This is not enough to say about this in this format. Now, limited, it's interesting because four mana is good, and it's and one mana removal spell is really good. Uh, sometimes a two mana is not great. It's still really good. I don't think it's a five in limited. I think it's like a four in limited. You know what this card reminds me of in limited? It reminds me of um, Fatal uh, um, Tragic Slip. Yeah, which was pretty good in limited, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you just like because like in combat something killed it to something and then oh their best guy is dead. Yeah. It, remind, it reminds me of Tragic Slip. Obviously, it's not as good as Tragic Slip. Uh, yes, I think I think it's a four. Uh, in limited, to be honest, and in constructed, it's people have, can't stop talking about it. So this card is going to be the most expensive uncommon in the set. Fan hauler seven mana. Ugh, well, it has improvised, so it's a little bit better. It can't be blocked by artifact creatures. Well, that's pretty cool. Can't jump block it. And if it, you can play this on turn five, you're okay. I'd say. So if you can play this in turn five, you're okay with it. But if you can, but anything later than that, you're not super happy. I think this is as a five drop is good. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'd say it's a two and a half. There's not much to say. Nah, it's, but it's I think it's a little high. Like, I think you, you only think so? want. I think you only want one ever anyway. Yeah, that's why I would say. But this two is like and a fourteenth pick. It's like so oh, it's I got a, this on the wheel. <laughs> so maybe it's like a two. But yeah. Five, yeah. Five, five five is pretty big. I, I think it's a two. That. You you play one and you're like oh I got it. You know. Yeah. Like. So here's the thing: a five five could definitely be a breaking point or like uh. A, a, like determine how good something is just because it, we saw a lot of four power four four power t guys so five could easily be very good so we might be underrating this card but it just depends it's gonna just depend on how the format plays uh foundry hornet three in a black flying two three when it enters battlefield if you control a creature with a plus one one counter on it creatures your opponent control get plus one minus one minus one till end of turn this card's a blowout yeah wow you like, have to have you have to have a Creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. It doesn't matter. It's still a two three for three. It's a two three flyer for three. When it like that's the four. the baseline is so good and the top line is so good. Like all right, green black. Remember we were talking about the green black counter deck. Yes. This is the green black counter draft deck. This is insane. Like I hope I hope I hope I have Panamonicon with this deck with this card. By the way, it doesn't even matter. You have a Rhino. Like oh, I attacked with my Rhino this turn. You tr you trade it off like you get some damage on your guy and then I kill you the rest of the guy. This card's yeah. great. At the base, at the base, it's a four mana two three flyer, which is okay. And yeah, which is a two point five, yeah. Yeah, so it goes to two point five, and then if it ever triggers, it's a three and a half. I would say. All right, uh, fourth bridge prowler. Uh, fourth bridge prowler enters the battlefield. You may have target creature get minus one and minus one until end of turn. It's a one mana one, one mana one Ugh. one. No. Like, you usually don't play one drops. This is probably twenty like third playable. If it's night market, it's lookouts. a one one though. Ugh, that's so bad. Yeah, one and a half maybe sometimes. Two. If you need, if you, minus one, minus one, minus one. Oh sure. It like, but it, it's still just a one mana one one, which is generally you generally don't play those, or you play those in very specific decks. So I think it's like a one and a half, and then sometimes the rare case it's like a two, but even then I don't think it's a two. Sure. Okay. Gifted Aetherborn. This guy's sweet. Two mana, black black, <laughs> which is very important. Aetherborn, Death Touch, Life Linker. So I heard someone call this vampire not not hawk, which I thought made me laugh. But yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty... one less mana. Doesn't have flying. Yeah, but still very good. Like beats the vanilla test, and then those two keywords are huge. Just trades with anything. Oh, this card is so good. Gives you though. life. Like this card is fantastic. If your main deck, if your main color is black, you play this all the time. 
I think this card's like a three and a half, in my opinion. This card's really good. It was a three. Yeah, I would say three and a half. Sure. Very good. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. One in a black. Menace. Two one human rogue. When it attacks, enters the battlefield or attacks, you get an energy. Hmm, that's pretty good. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two energy. If you do draw a card and lose one life. Wow. So it's 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 Bob, right? Everyone remembers Bob. Everyone knows who Bob is. No, it's it's better than it's better than Bob. I don't know if it's better than Bob. No, no, it's not better than Bob. It's not it's, better than Bob. I, I don't think anything is better than Bob or will be better than Bob in terms of cards you, that are you like take this. Le, you take less damage, and, but you have to pay energy. But I think it, it's, it's easily playable. Blue-black, it's so good in blue-black. If you're just playing a blue-black energy deck, this thing is crazy because you just generate a whole bunch or of like cards. Or like red-black. You want to pair it with red yeah. or blue. Any energy deck you play this yeah. with, you're, you're, you're so happy. So good. So I think this is like a three... Maybe you know, a three and a half. I think this might be a first pick rare. It depends what's in your pack. It's definitely high. You can build around this card because you can take energy pick cards, right? Yeah. But it's it, it's an aggressive deck for sure. If it's an aggressive deck, it can fit into a, like a more a slower deck too. If you just want to draw a lot of cards. I think I think it's it's not it, but harder to trigger. No, but like in an aggressive deck, you play it on turn two, then you get attack with your menace two one on turn two, and on turn three, and then you already have an activation. And it's like before you play the grubs or something. Yeah, maybe. I still think I yeah, I still think it's like a three, three and a half. Sure, sure. Ganti's machination, machination. That's not the right pronunciation. I think it's machinations. All right. Machi- machinations, machinations, whatever. <laughs> One black <laughs> enchantment. Whenever you lose life for the first time each turn, get an energy. Okay. Pay two energy. Sacrifice this. Each opponent loses three life. You gain life equal to. Okay, that's really bad i think this is bad uh someone's gonna play it in commander i think it's so bad uh, though it feels bad doesn't it's seem, gonna, it doesn't ever seem good it's good with the rare we just saw uh, yeah it's a six life it's a six life swing is, is that is what it is for one mana sometimes I mean, it's really good with the rare because like every time you draw a card and lose one life you can get one energy back no no you have to sac but you have to sacrifice no no, no you can just leave it on the battlefield it's really good with that rare I would say the the better part of it is definitely when you lose the life, gaining an energy. Yeah, oh, last, that is the better. The, part. The, the bottom part is just like, oh, I might win the game. I still think it's like a, yeah, I still think it's like a two, maybe a two and a half. It's only really good in energy decks. Yeah, this is weird. I don't like it. I would probably I, not play one. No, I think there's better ways to generate energy. So I think it's like a two, a two it and a half. It is a helix when you need it. That is true. But yeah, but helix can target creatures. That's yeah, true. Herald of Anguish. Uh, seven mana, improvise, flying. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent discards a card. Two mana, one color, one black. Second energy fight. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. This thing is crazy. The art is fantastic. Oh my gosh! It looks like he's waving like a mini American flag. Yeah. This, this little flag. Yeah, oh, yeah. To the does, right. this, does this go on your uh, your favorite cards? Oh, it's so close. I love the artwork. All right, I'm going to put it on my favorite list. Okay, because it wasn't going on yours. It was going on mine. So very expensive. But when you get it out, you can then just wipe the opponent's hand because they'll probably only have one card left anyway. And you, they can't beat this, probably. If you play this on turn five, it's really good. <laughs> you know, like, the earlier you play it, the better. But even at seven mana, it's okay with a five-five. And then just <laughs> using your artifacts to as removal is insane. <laughs> just... uh, it's so good. It's such yep. a good way to think. If improvise is broken, this is the card to do it. Yep. Servos, any servos, this thing is like insane. A, like, let's just think of it as like a five drop. Like, think about it, if if you can just have two artifacts, making it a five drop is like ridiculous. Yeah, five drop, prob- five, five flyer that this makes the opponent discard a card. That's it. That's it. Not even twice, just once. This is probably a four, and I would almost put it at a four and a half. I just think might almost, yeah. The only thing that's putting it lower than a five is its cost. If, yeah, sometimes if you cast it for seven, it's not great. But it's when a you cast 4. it for 5. five, yep. Ironclad Revolutionary. When Ironclad Revolutionary enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice an artifact. If you do, put two one-one counters on it, and each opponent loses two life. Yeah, sure. Sign me yeah, up. sign me up six, for six-six. Six-six losing two life is good. Six mana six-six is yeah. I'll take one, only one. Sometimes though, you're not gonna want to sacrifice an artifact, and if you don't have an artifact, the six mana no. four. It's pretty. It's still Aetherborn and an Artificer. It's both. It's too relevant. I don't know. Sometimes it's 
sometimes it's not being able to sacrifice an artifact is not great. So there it's, is some downside. Like if also, you don't have an artifact to sacrifice, playing this at six it seems really mediocre. Sure. I think this is really good. I think you get can't beat a six six a lot of the time. Yeah, I think this is like a three and a half, and then if you yeah. can ever make it a six. Actually, sorry, it's a, it's so it's a three, maybe even less if you don't sacrifice an artifact because a six mana four four is not super good, right? But a six mana six six that drains is insane. Yeah, so if it doesn't sacrifice an artifact, it's like a two and a half. Actually, I'm mean, gonna keep lowering it. But when you do <laughs> sacrifice an artifact and you and you do, it's probably like a four. Um, I think this card is really good because it's Aetherborn and an artificer as well. Midnight Entourage two and two black. Uh, other artifacts. Out of the Aetherborns, you control, get plus one, plus one. Whenever this or an Aetherborn dies, you draw a card and lose a life. Uh, unfortunately, that's not you may. You must. But, but this card's, but card's insane. insane. Take it every time. Take a pick pack. Pack pick one. Pick one. Four, 4.5, depending on your synergy. Yep. This card's Easy. sweet. Easy. Yeah, Let's go to the next sweet. card. Night Market Aeronauts. Three in black. Flying 2-2. Two, two. It sometimes is a 3-3 three, three when you have Revolt. Um... It's also I don't know. born. I think this is a two and a half, sometimes a three. If it's a four mana three three flyer, then it's like a three. Maybe a three and a half. But when it's not, it's for two, a two and a half. A four yeah. mana two two flyer is pretty mediocre. When it's three three, it's okay. That's what I mean. A four mana three yeah. three is generally like a three. Yeah. But like when it's not, it's like a two, a two and a half. Yeah. So I don't think it's great. I think revolt's gonna be easy to activate though. Yeah, it just depends how easy revolt is to activate. In general, and how easy it is to activate in general. I like, like this card. Deck. It's a good common. It's one of the better uh, yeah. commons in black. I'm not super excited about it, but yeah, it's fine. Perilous Predicament. Each opponent sacrifices an artifact creature and an artifact creature. It's an instant. So this thing can be insane. It can be the blowout city, but it oh, also it can be, be like, oh, wow, this feels bad. If they have two servos, it's like, all right. There go my two <laughs> servos. <laughs> sure. No, it's, un- it's not an artifact creature. They can't sacrifice two servos. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah, it's actually a little bit better because it says that. So sometimes it's going to be a servo and then something else. So sometimes it's going to be really good and sometimes it's going to be really bad. Sometimes it's going to be the O, the O one in black and a servo. It's going to be like, it's oh, gonna, okay. Sometimes it's going to be like a, sometimes this card is going to be a one and a half and sometimes this card is going to be like a three and a half. That's how swingy this card feels. This card's really good when it's good. Yes, but it's really bad when it's bad. I think this card's really good most of the time. It's each. It's not you. It's just each opponent. Like that's each oppo- it's true in, in commander. That's gonna be good. But no. But it's also just good in in sta- like in limited. You make some trades. They have two things left. Boom. They have nothing. Maybe. Ma- yeah. Maybe if you're doing that too. I still think that sometimes it's gonna be just really bad. I think this card's very good. I think would, I would take it very high. It's it's an instant. Don't, you can don't punish get me them. wrong. I think I think at the high end it's really good. But I think yeah. it could be at the low end. It can be very bad. We'll, I, think, we'll see. I think it's a little higher of a rating. I think the 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 jury is out on this one. It could be either or. It could be any. It could be good. It could be bad. Renegades get away. Target permanent gains indestructibility until end of turn. Create a one one colorless server artifact creature token. I don't know. I don't think it's super good. I think it's okay. It's indestructibility. A, no, it's a server plus indestructible. Yeah. Mm. I, I think it's okay. I think it's more of a twenty third card. It's way it's thing. way worse than that the, the plus one plus O and indestructible. Yeah, I think it's I think it's uh like a two. You're probably gonna don't want to play this, but if you need a twenty foot card, this is fine. Yeah, this is one of the worst tricks. Yeah. Right. Resourceful return, one a black, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. If you control an artifact, draw a card. These these effects are traditionally very bad. Drawing a card is not bad. Having Please. it it's i think this is also another two out of five i don't i think drawing a card is pretty okay you're only gonna draw the card sometimes like i think this card's really bad uh it's it might be okay in the sideboard against a deck that has a lot of removal uh other than that yeah i don't think it's i don't think you want to play it a lot i don't know if i even want to play i play one maybe yeah the draw the card saves the card like it may actually makes the card almost that, like that's what i mean right that's what i'm saying that's why if it was just not draw a card to be like a one a one and a half but drawing a card can easily save it because you're, you're actually getting two cards when you think about it you're getting a creature right right if favor, you're drawing I mean, it's good i mean if you're drawing it's okay and when you're not I mean. drawing it's horrendous yes it's like a one it's like a half or a one if 
you're not drawing, but if you're drawing a card, it's like a two. Secret Salvage. Exile target online card from your graveyard. Search your library for any number of cards with the same name as that card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shove your library. This card's horrible. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> How many times are you going to have four? Like, you need at least two or three copies of something, something good for five mana to play it. Yeah. When are you ever playing this? This is like a yep. zero. Yeah. This is actually the stone unplayable. Yep. Don't play it. Card's so bad. Sly, uh, Requisitioner. Re re I, I, rec I am so bad. Re requisitioner. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely have, it's a mouthful. Uh, five mana improvise. Whenever a non token artifact you control is put into a graveyard from battlefield, create a 1 1 servo artifact creature token. So this, this thing's very cool. interesting because it makes trades very good, right? It's non token, uh, it's, though. It's an artificer, yeah. That makes it worse. But I mean, uh, you can, but you can sack things. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. I think if you can play it on turn four or three and then start trading and then gen yeah. it just definitely generates you a slow advantage i think it's good i think it's like a two and a half it's it's a very solid synergistic card which means yep. and synergistic cards can be great or terrible yeah uh, the thing is it's not five mana though if you think about it because you're gonna have artifacts if you if you're gonna play this out you're going to have artifacts already yep so i think it's like a yeah i think it's a two and a half it's even worse if you don't kind of it doesn't it. affect like the board right away which is bad you're right that's yeah but like if you play this if you play this on turn four or turn three you're pretty okay with it. Uh, vengeful Rebel. Whenever Vengeful Rebel enters the battlefield, the permanent control left the battlefield this turn. Tug creature and opponent control gets minus three minus three until the turn. This card, this is, card great. is crazy good. This is uh, so good. This is a, almost the first pick in common if your rear is bad. Oh yeah. Uh, removal is very good. This is very good removal. It's three mana. It's a, it's a, it's removal <laughs> attached to a three two. Uh, this three is, mana this is removal so good. attached to a three two. Uh, Please pick this. this all the time. This is very similar to the white one, by yes. the way. Yes, yes. This one's great. This is very... Uh, I would say this is, this is probably a three for me. We have a legendary creature, Yahini Undying Partisan. Uh, legendary creature, Aetherborn Vampire, Haste. Whenever an opponent, whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on Yahini, Undying Partisan. Sacrifice another creature, Yahini gains indestructibility until end of this turn. This card's very good. This card's very good if you're playing a servo list, too. If you're playing a lot of servos... No, Sacrificing no. another creature, even your one ones, is just generally very good. Making this bigger when they trade is very good. Giving this haste can be sometimes good. Yeah. Um, Going. I think it's, yeah. Uh, this card's insane. This card's really good in the aggressive deck. An aggressive list, yeah, I think it's very good in aggressive list. But other than that, it's not going to be good in the control lists. Sometimes, um, you might not want to be able to sacrifice your artifacts. And if you're not playing a lot of servos and you're playing a lot of artifacts, you want then you don't want to be sacrificing them. I mean, it it's not worse. amazing for a rare legendary, but it's a very good card, is what I'm saying. It yeah. reminds me of uh, Syndicate Trafficker. Yeah, it's, it's like Syndicate... I think it's better than Syndicate Trafficker. Uh, yeah, I think because so, too. Because his opponent kills. Yeah. I'd give it like a three-ish. So like yeah. a three to a three and a half, probably. If you're playing servos, it's very good, and it definitely fits in there. Is it mm -hmm. first pickable? I don't know. I think I, it might be. It's a 2-2 two -two haste that has upside. Tons of upside. Maybe. Yahini's expertise. All creatures get minus three, minus three until end of turn. Make cast a card with good mana cost three or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. It's part of the expertise cycle. This thing is insane. This thing is going to have implications outside of limited, um, but it's very good limited. Uh, I think it's one. Of, might be one of Z's favorite cards. Oh yeah, this is my favorite. This, this is going right go on my list. I was waiting for you. This is going on my list. This is a modern playable card that I think I'll hate to see it because I play a lot of Affinity, but I think it's one a solid card to go into some sort of uh, modern deck. I think it's very good. In, it's insanely good in standard. It is a worse language that has an upside of being able to cast a Liliana for free. So yeah, this card into ancestral like ancestral like visions. Not, yeah. Like the new blue black deck was gonna be is gonna be pretty sweet to see what people can do with fatal push and expertise and that sort of stuff. I think this card is very sweet. It's like basically it's a one it's one more than anger the gods, mm -hmm. and I mean it doesn't exile, but it, you get to play your Liliana too. So cool. Uh, in limited, definitely good. It's a sweeper. Most sweepers are good. Um, I would say this is probably uh four. Yeah. If you have something really good for yeah. three or less, it's even better. So I'd say it's a four. Uh, how do you feel about black? Uh, I think it didn't have as much as I thought it was going to have. I agree with that. I think at the top end, 
it was very good. We it, it we it had a four and a half. It had a five. It had. Uh, but it also four, had zeros. But it had zeros. It had a lot of mediocre fillers. So I think you're gonna want to play your bombs from it, and you might need a sec. You might need to play your rares from this as a support color. You might need to right. play black as more of a support color. That's the thing. Um, simply because there were a lot of mediocre cards. It, it felt hard to build a deck with a lot of the common and uncommon fillers because the commons and uncommons were so poor. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Thank you guys for tuning into the black section of our official Aether Revolt set review. Once again, I'm Incredible Bad Gaming. And I'm Z Magic 94 And if you like what you saw, you can hit that subscribe button on YouTube. You can also find me on Twitter at IncrediBad underscore game or on Twitch at IncrediBad underscore gaming. And you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at ZMagic94. You can also find other great content like this at TeamEnergyBot.com. So check that out. So we'll see you guys next time at our episode four of our set review, which will be red. See you guys next time. Mm-hmm.